Hi everyone, welcome back to another video with another custom ROM for Redmi Note 9 Pro. This is Project Elixir 1.5 for me at all devices. We'll talk about its features and how is it different from other AOSP based ROMs. So let's begin. First up, let's head to the settings. You'll see a greeting up on the top. This is something you'll not find on every custom ROM. The settings is very well grouped together and feels good ergonomically. The special customization features can be found in Essence section. I still remember its initial build when it lacked all these features and now it has been such an advanced ROM with so much advanced control over UI. You can now enable or disable ripple effect while unlocking your phone with fingerprint, lock sensitive QS styles on lock screen, force small clock on the lock screen, you get window level blurs, you can enable it. Here are some examples of window level blurs. You can see the blur effect in the expanded volume control panel. You can see it when you long press uh, like Wi-Fi tile or something like that. And you can see it in power menu. You also get improved security settings. As you can see this build has February security patch. You also get encrypted storage and enforcing SE Linux. So that is security wise uh, very important to have on a good ROM. Safety net test passes by default, so no need of Magisk hide or installing Magisk for this sake. The recents menu is perfectly working with buttons to copy links or images from app previews like YouTube. Though the clear all button is so far to reach and it's a little bit inconvenient, I wish it was on the bottom. I also wish I could show how is the gaming performance on this ROM but unfortunately I'm not a gamer but by the games I could play I can say that it's not bad in gaming at all. The ROM is quite smooth which you can experience in app closing and opening, animations, scrolling through the screens etc. The audio output is also loud. This ROM supports Widevine L1 security level so you can enjoy Netflix. At its best you can play full HD videos on YouTube. The ROM comes bundled with Gcam Go but you can always install full Gcam later. The launcher provided with the ROM is Pixel Launcher so you get lesser customization than launcher but that's the whole concept of this ROM. You do not get crazy customization that leaves you confused sometimes especially in my case. Before concluding I'd like to thank XT member Lobster70 for bringing this ROM to me at all. So this is all I had to share in this video. Hope you'd like it so please don't forget to hit like share and subscribe see you later in my next video